Hey guys, I'm back with a collective haul. It's been like two weeks, I know. I'm sorry. I've just been kind of meh, I guess you could say. Just been kind of down and haven't really been feeling into the YouTube videos and just kind of been busy, pretty much. And I was thinking, random thought, I suffer from um, squirrel syndrome as I call it. Do any of you guys know what I'm talking about? Like you'll just be in one thought and you'll just be like, squirrel. Like that. <laughs> but I need to come up with a name for my subscribers. And I just, I got nothing. I was thinking about calling you guys, um, I was doing the thing again. Like the thing that I did in my last video where I was like, let me just do it a whole bunch to get it out of the way. Sippy, <sighs> sippy. Anyways. I was thinking about calling you guys unicorns, but I didn't know if that would be like too dorky for you guys because I like freaking love unicorns. Like you guys have no idea. You do not understand the depth of my obsession with unicorns. So I was going to call you guys my unicorns, but I don't know if that's just too like childish, <laughs> but we'll see. Anyways, I just have like a collective haul for you guys. It's, um... Some stuff from a couple of places. The main thing is my very first Sephora haul. You guys know, if you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I don't own anything high-end, like, whatsoever. I'm a drugstore girl. I have to get stuff from drugstore because I can't afford high-end stuff. So, this haul, courtesy of my sister Jen, thank you, she um, bought me some stuff for my birthday and just... I love her so much. I love you, Jen. Thank you. Um, courtesy of her, I got some of my first high-end items from Sephora, so I'm super duper excited about that. And then just some stuff here and there from a couple of other drugstores. So, I'm just going to jump right in and let's start with Sephora. Sephora! Oh yeah! Now, I technically did not get any full size products from Sephora because I'm um, not gonna lie there everything is really expensive and I had my limit was a hundred dollars and I didn't want to get like one thing for a hundred dollars because I wanted like a variety of things to try out so basically oh that's in the way let's not do that basically what I did was order a ton of like travel size or trial size items so I could try them out and if I love it I can go back and buy them myself for a full size which is pretty good I'm okay with that all right I'm gonna start with like the free samples I got a ton of free stuff with this order which I thought was amazing so I mean you can't lose there the first little free th I did it again I'm sorry The first free thing that I got is this Makeup Forever birthday kit thing, whatever you want to call it. This is free because this month is my birthday month. I'll be 22 Monday. Hey. But basically it just comes with a Makeup Forever mascara and a lipstick. Now, can I just show you guys this lipstick? Look, look at that. Look at it. And this is in the color Rouge Artist, or Artist Natural, I don't know. Um, this is pretty cute, and then it just comes with the Smoky Extravagant Mascara. Looks like that. Weird brush. Um, I've actually used both of these. This is okay, and then this is pretty good. I mean, it's not anything, like, special. I would definitely not go out and spend however much it cost to buy it but it was for free I ain't complaining so and then if you are familiar with Sephora you are aware that with each order you get three free samples so the three free samples that I chose to get with my order and they ch I think they change it 
I'm not sure how often they change, every week or every day. I don't know, guys. I don't know anything. Um, the first sample that I got is the Cover FX Blemish Treatment Primer and BB Gel. It just comes with a blemish treatment primer and a BB Gel thing. I haven't used it yet, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to try it because I do suffer from acne prone skin. So I thought, why not? It could do nothing but help. The second free sample that I got is this Bosha Detoxifying. Um, <coughs> Oh, I could have done so much better. Anyways, the um, Detoxifying Facial Cleanser. And I've heard pretty good stuff about this. It's that really weird black stuff you put on your face. I really wanted to get the mask, but I figured why not? I'm always up for trying new facial cleansers to help with my acne. And then the third free sample that I just had to try because everybody raves about Glam Glow. I, oh, girl. It is the Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. So I figured I'd try this. I haven't used any of the these three samples yet, but I'm like super duper excited to try this. I also don't want to fall in love with it because if I do, a full size one of these is like $65. You know what I can pay get with $65? Girl, I can pay my internet bill with that. Like, just... just now that I have tried stuff from Sephora, I'm like, I'm going to have to get a second job just to support this new addiction. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but moving right along. The other really amazing thing with this Sephora order is you got a cosmetic bag with eight free samples in it when you use the Coast Season Set over orders of uh, $25, I think, which was awesome. There's three different ones, and this is what the bag looks like. It's pretty cute. I like it. I mean, it's simple, but I would use this. Like, I ain't even lying. I would use this. I don't remember what... You know what? I can tell you right now. I'm trying to remember what the set that I got is called. A Bright Night Out. This was the set that I got. It came with two perfume samples, which is... They're upside down, Danielle. Girl from Pharrell Williams for girls and boys. And then Chloe. This one I have tried. It smells. It's not gross, but it just it smells like a man's cologne. Like I would not wear this because I don't want to smell like a man. So I'll just let my boyfriend use that. <laughs> um, this one right here. It's it smells good, but when I when I smell it, it reminds me of like old lady. <laughs> you know this perfume. I just spit. <laughs> I'm so excited I spit. Okay. But it just smells like old lady perfume. You know, like those perfumes that old ladies wear. And when they walk by, they, they spray too much on. And when they walk by, you're like... Boom! That kind of perfume. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's just... I wouldn't go out of my way to wear it, you know. Um, the third sample that came with this set is the Love Swept... Body Lotion, Philosophy, Follow Your Heart. I haven't smelled this or tried it. I haven't. Oh, it's a safety seal on it. Yeah, that's good. It smells pretty good. I actually like the smell of this. I may actually use this, like keep it in my purse. Um, if you watch my other videos, you know I'm not huge on like getting lotions. I just... I don't know. I'm not a huge lotion junkie. Like, I have enough already. Like, from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. I do not need any more. Alright. And then, the rest of the free samples were actually just makeup products. Which is one of the reasons I picked this set. Because I think it came with the most makeup products. I'm not sure. But, the next free sample in this was the Urban Decay... 24-7 Velvet Glide on Eye Pencil. Just a little small size. I mean, it's it's still a really good size for it being small, but it's a really good size. Um, awesome eyeliner. I love it. It has great pigmentation, so I was like, heck yeah, and why not get another one of these? Alright. The next thing is Smashbox 24-Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. I have used this three days in a row I think and my eyeshadow it's 
looking pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I actually really like this. This is a great size, like awesome size. Do you see this? This is pretty big. This would last me forever. Like, even if I was using this every day, this would last me well over a month. Like, ooh. This stuff is cool. good. I love it. I don't want to know how much it costs because if I love it that much, my bank account's going to cry. The next thing in here is a lip gloss, and it is from Marc Jacobs. It's Lust for Lacquer Lip Vinyl. And it's in the color 302 Kissability. 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 That was totally wrong. I'm sorry. It's um, it's small, but it's a pretty good size. It's in this color. It's gorgeous. It smells amazing. I have it on my lips right now. It feels... Oof, I love it. I love it. I don't normally wear lip glosses because they're sticky and they feel funky on your lips, but this... It has a really nice, like, refreshing feel on your lips. Like, it's mint, and it's not sticky. Like, your lips don't stick together when they touch, and it doesn't get on your teeth. It doesn't feel funky. It, girl, I love this. I don't want to know how much it really is, because it sounds expensive. Just, again, my bank account is going to cry. Let's hope I can make this sample last. The next sample in this bag is the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. It's a pretty weird looking brush. But I did use this today and I really like this mascara. Like I really do. It looks really nice. It gives really good volume, separates your lashes, gives a little bit of length, not a lot, but it just gives a really natural look to your lashes. I don't think it's like drama crazy like it says it is but it is a pretty good mascara the last sample that came in this bag which I was super duper excited about is the Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipstick in the color bachelorette I put this stuff <laughs> I put this stuff on my lips the other day and I about died and gone to heaven hmm this is just amazing. I, oh, the pigmentation. I don't even want to swatch it because I don't want to waste any of it because it is small, but, oh, girl. It was just, oh, I barely touched my hand. Look at that pigmentation. Oh, my Lord. And it dries to a beautiful finish. It, it doesn't feel funky on your lips, and it just... Can we just talk about how amazing that is? And I am a, well, I think these are $18 full size. 20 22 I don't know. But either way, I'm going to cry if I want to repurchase this. Or I could just continue getting free samples. That'll work for me. <laughs> so that was it in the sample bag. And the last free thing that I got, which um, I used my points or whatever to get, it's a Clinique Chubby Stick in the color Strawberry, I think. It just looks like that. Pretty neat. It was free. Why not? I ain't complaining. So, that was all of the free stuff that I got with my order. And then they also sent me this, which comes with a ton of, like, perfume samples. I don't know if everybody else got this, but there's, like, four or five perfume samples in here. And I haven't tried those yet. I might try them eventually, but when I saw the prices of them, if I do like it, I just, I cried. Like, who, why would you pay $100 for a perfume? No, I'm sorry. No boo boo. Hmm. Okay, so on to the stuff that I actually got. All of this stuff together was $100. So not too bad. I guess I got quite a lot of, oh no, I dropped them. I guess I got quite a lot of things for 100 bucks. So I'm just going to jump right in. The first thing I see on top is the Urban Decay All Nighter, um, makeup setting spray. This is the one ounce, the travel size. It was only $14 because I didn't want to buy the full size and then end up not liking it and then I'd be out of $30. But basically I just got this to try it and I've been using it for three days and I hate to say it but I love it. Like I really really love this stuff. I'm probably going to be repurchasing it because that's how much I love it and it does what it says it does. 
it makes your makeup last longer when I spray my makeup it looks amazing it doesn't look powdery it doesn't look cakey it looks like my skin it just amazing I've had this makeup on for what time is it I've had this makeup on for well over I want to say five hours and I'm not looking oily whatsoever yes yes which I also think is the foundation I'm using but nevertheless I vote thumbs up on this baby. Next in here, I've really wanted to be, to try like a high-end primer from Sephora, from like Benefit pretty much, because everybody raves about the Benefit Professional Primer and blah blah blah. So I saw this little trio on Sephora. It comes with That Gal Brightening Face Primer, the Benefit Professional and Girl Meets Pearl like liquid, what's it called? liquid pearl for face. All three of these were on sale for $13. I was like, heck yeah, why not? It comes with three. And then I got it and I didn't realize the package was like this teeny tiny. But the actual size of the products really is not that bad. Like, this is how big it is. A professional. And they're all the same size. I don't know about you, but these sizes would last me a really long time. Like, there's a lot of product in here. This would last me if I used it every day probably over a month and that's not that bad. So I'm really, um, I've used a professional. Let me tell you, it makes a huge difference on my face. It makes a huge difference for my makeup application. My makeup looks flawless. It, I think it helps it last longer. So heck yeah, I'm really glad I decided to try this. I have not used the That Gal yet, and I have not used the Girl Meets Pearl. I'm kind of waiting to, you know, just try it out, see how that goes. So this was $13.50. I'm really glad I decided to pick this up. The next thing that I got is a limited edition Sephora eyeshadow palette in Glamour, I guess. This is $15. I have used this three times. Just looks like that. It's gorgeous packaging. I love it. And the inside looks like this. Those are the eyeshadows. Um, I'm not going to give this like a great review. Um, um, I'm just going to give you guys like a really quick, quick review on it. I have not used these yet. I just, I haven't been able to use them. But I will say that if you're going to get this palette, I don't have a negative review for it. I don't. I like this palette a lot. I really do. But if you're going to use the eyeshadows in this palette, please put the eyeshadow on before your foundation. Um, some people do that anyways. Like, I was, like, totally one of those people that put on their foundation, did everything, and then put on their eyeshadow. But I started doing my eyeshadow first recently because of this. And I actually like it a lot better. It's a lot easier. You don't have to clean up under your eyes after you do your eyeshadow and it won't mess up your foundation because they do have a lot of fallout I mean I would have thought for $15 it would have been better than what it was it's still good I do really like it I will continue using this um, my favorite eyeshadow by far in the entire palette is this one it is so buttery and it is just oh yes it's beautiful. I really do love it. It's amazing. No complaints about that one. This one's a really good highlight. I like to I'm using all I'm using all four of these on my lid right now. It's beautiful. I use this in my crease right now just as like to darken it up a little bit. And then the only really complaint I have about these eyeshadows are this one has really chunky glitter in it. This one, this one, and this one. They have really chunky glitter in it and it falls out like crazy. Like I'm I'm telling you, like you have glitter everywhere and it's they aren't that pigmented either. So I'm still liking the palette. I'm still gonna use it, you know, it's not the greatest. But I like it. We'll see how the um, the blushes and the highlighter are in the palette as soon as I get around to using those. So again, this was $15. The, um, which one am I going to show next? Okay. 
this little thing. <laughs> Let me tell you. Look how adorable this is right here. Can can we just can we just admire its adorableness? Because it is just look, when I ordered this, I didn't know it was gonna be this small. But this is um the Tarte Deluxe Cheek Set. It was ten dollars. Uh yeah, ten dollars. I was gonna try it. And it comes with a cheek stain and a blush from Tarte. This is what the cheek stain looks like. It's really tiny, but let me tell you, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. It is actually really beautiful on the skin. I'll go ahead and swatch that. It is a, gives a gorgeous glow, like gorgeous. I'm using this as a highlight on my skin today. And it also comes with the cutest baby blush you have ever seen in your life. Look at this. And the packaging, might I add, is beautiful. It's pretty small, but it actually has a lot of product in it, for, for me at least. Like, it has that. And it is gorgeous. I love the color. Beautiful. And it actually looks really good on me. It's right here. I think this would be really good for pale skin tones because it suits me really well. And this is in the color Mirage. It's an Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. Absolutely loving this set. I've used it every day for three days and so far I am really loving it. So I'm glad I picked that up for $10. This would also be a really, really good gift for Christmas, like a stocking stuffer. Yes, you do it, girlfriend. The next thing I'm going to... Uh, I got is the Kat Von D star studded look gift set it was $20 it comes with the immortal lash mascara the Kat Von D tattoo liner and a Kat Von D studded lipstick I have used the mascara and the tattoo liner which is actually I'm wearing the tattoo liner today I love this eyeliner it is so easy to use I didn't know what I was missing and eyeliner pens but I know now <laughs> it is amazing I love it and I'm just sorry about that I keep getting interrupted for the life of me anyways like I was saying I'm gonna just pull out the little lipstick for you it's can I just it's so cute look at it oh and it look at that adorable I have not swatched it I'm gonna swatch it because I love you guys this is in the color Underage red. Hmm. Ooh, this is beautiful. Oh, it's matte. Oh, that is beautiful. It's right there. It looks just like that. <laughs> but it is beautiful. And it smells amazing. Like, I kind of want to eat it. Like, I don't know what my obsession is with eating cosmetics. <laughs> the struggle is real. So, I haven't put this on my lips yet, but I'm really loving this whole set. Like, it's pretty good deal for 20 bucks so might just have to repurchase the eyeliner when I run out my boyfriend is gonna kill me but uh, what are you gonna do all right and then the last thing I got which was the only this is full size actually this is the only full size product that I got and this is the Urban Decay smoked eyeshadow palette now let me tell you I have wanted an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette ever since I remember. Ever since I can remember. But if you watch my videos, you know, girlfriend ain't gonna spend $54 on a damn eyeshadow palette. You must be out your damn mind. Like, no, it just ain't happening. So I got this one. It was $29 and it comes with 10 eyeshadows, a full sized perversion 24-7 glide on eye pencil and travel size eyeshadow primer potion which is for all three for the price heck yes and the eyeshadows look really gorgeous I just this is the eyeshadow primer potion this is a good size this will last you a good while like yes and the packaging is actually really adorable I wasn't expecting it to be this cute but it's like a <laughs> It's like a zip up thing. It's actually really cute. And it also comes with a little booklet of like all the different types of looks you can do. It's actually pretty neat. It comes with this book and it comes with just like all the different looks you can create, which is pretty cool. I might be consulting this later. 
So it just zips open like this. And it opens and then you have the full size pencil in the middle, mirror up top, and then all 10 eyeshadows. <sighs> I haven't swatched these yet. I'm like waiting for just just so I can sit down and just enjoy it in its full glory. Because I've heard good things about Urban Decay eyeshadows and if these disappoint me, I'm going to be pissed. So, I am really excited to try Blackout um and Rockstar. Mushroom looks pretty nice. Loaded looks really pretty. This is Loaded. I'm really excited to try that. But it comes with the eyesh oh I just knocked over my eyeliner. It comes with the eyeshadows Kinky, Freestyle, Mushroom, Backdoor, Blackout, Bar Lust, Rockstar, Evidence, Loaded, and Asphalt. So, pretty darn good eyeshadow palette for 29 bucks, which is probably the only reason I got it because it was pretty darn cheap for an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. Am I right? Yeah, it's just pretty good packaging. So that is actually it from my Sephora haul. Everything I got, I'm so excited to try and I'm so happy with. Like, thank you so much, Jen, again, for making this possible. Because if it wasn't for her, girl wouldn't have no high-end stuff. So sad. On high-end note, oh, so excite, you guys. QVC was having an amazing deal on a Tarte 3-in-1 holiday gift set. Oh, can I just, I'm just going to tell you guys, I'm going to make a video about it. It is 26 full-sized Tarte products for $59. That's how much I paid for it. Oh my God, can we just talk about how excited I am for that to get here? It's Amazeballs. I'm going to make a video about it. You guys should be excited too. Moving right along. I don't know if you guys have the Makeup Social app. It is a app for basically girls to just get on or guys. To get on and just talk about makeup it's amazing I, I love it I'm just able to get on there and just de-stress and talk to wonderful girls about makeup it is amazing and you get awesome feedback and you get to discuss products reviews just it's amazing and you should get it but I saw like post upon post upon post about these damn eyelashes from Target that were 59 cents like the really good lashes, like the Ardell um, starter kits. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get off my ass right now and go to Target, which is a minute away. So I went to Target and I saw the lashes. There wasn't a sale sign. I was like, oh man. I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick one up and scan it just to see how much it rings up as. So I took it to the price check. It rang up as 59 cents. And I was like, ah! So you guess what your girl bought? The Ardell Starter Kit. I got the 105s and the Wispies. And I bought all they had, so I got like seven. They were 59 cents a piece, so I got all these for like $3. Heck yes. Yes, girl. Can we just. Yes. And then I just bought these lashes from Walgreens. They were on clearance for um, Halloween for a dollar their um bat those lashes so there you go all these lashes for four dollars your girl did good all right and then today i went to Ch tj maxx I always go to tj maxx just to see if they have any like high-end stuff because they always have high-end stuff marked down for like really really good and occasionally they'll have some really good stuff and occasionally they won't really have anything they didn't have much today but they did have this Too faced glamour gloss with um, lip injection comfort plump in the color first time and I was like heck yes I'll try this and I only got it for $5.99 and let me tell you this stuff smells amazing oh it smells like vanilla cupcakes and it oh my god I love it I have not worn it on my lips yet I just bought it like a couple hours ago but I'm really excited to try that it was only $5.99 and then while I was there, I just got like a lipstick holder, like this, just to put some more of my Wet n Wild lipsticks in, because I keep them on display, because I'm trying to collect them, which I'll go into in a minute. But it was three bucks from TJ Maxx. And the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is a little 
Wet n Wild lipstick haul that I got from Tar uh, bleh, Kmart. Um, I posted on Makeup Social that I'm trying to collect every single shade of Wet n Wild like lipstick that I can. The um, Mega Last lipstick or the is that what it's called? I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But anyway, they look like this. They're pretty. They're matte. Um, I'm trying to collect every single shade I can that ever exists. I'm going to do it. Like, I will do it. Because they're so cheap. They're so affordable. Like, half over half of these I got on sale for less than a dollar. Yes. So the colors that I picked up today are in the flesh. Pinkerbell. This is adorable, Pinkerbell. I thought that was cute. 24 karat gold, which is a orangey red type color. Cinnamon spice. This is a really pretty color. Um, pink sugar. I don't know how this is going to swatch. I'm really interested to swatch this. Mauve, uh, mauve out of here, which is just a really pretty mauve color. Coraline, which I thought the name of this was so cute. It's a, it's a corally red. It's gorgeous. And then the last one I picked up is Rosebud. That color. I love these lipsticks. Like, I really do. I would recommend them to anyone. They're affordable. They're cheap. They're super pigmented. They last a long time. And they're just, oh, why would you not buy these for a dollar? I mean, really. I think the only two colors I'm missing from the regular line, I think there's two of them. It's uh, Spiked Rum and another color that I can't remember. And then any of the limited edition mattes I think I'm missing. But other than that, I pretty much have all of them. I now own 30 of these Wet n Wild lipsticks. I know, you can go ahead and judge me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And the other really awesome thing that was amazing with this order was that you got, you got, <laughs> and for it to be free, and this is like, when, whew, gives really good volume, stuff like, <laughs> rude? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Recording a YouTube video? It's like every time I use it, I'm like, oh my fucking god! Oh lord, child, I just got red lipstick on my pants. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Girl, where is my. Okay, can we just talk about how clumsy I am and how I just bought these freaking pants and I've already stained them twice. Yes, your girl has stained these pants twice and they're brand new. Is the struggle real or nah? I really hope this red lipstick comes out because I'm going to be pissed. Okay, please stay tuned. I'm going to be uploading a couple more videos. No. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and bleh, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And make sure you, uh, bleh.